everybody. I'm in northern Tanzania on the Kenyan border on my way to a Maasai village in some public transportation. Estoy en el norte de Tanzania, en cerca de la frontera con Kenya, y voy a un, a un pueblito de la gente indígena Maasai. Están mis pasajeros. I arrived in Longino and found a small village with the central commercial area in the center where people sold their vegetables, where there were several shops like this butcher shop and a few food, shop, food shops with basic supplies like tea, sugar, rice and beans. I also met some of the local women through Samuel, my guide who I hired for two or three days. This is Samuel, and he is Maasai from Longino, and he also introduced me to his family, including his 14-year-old son. This is the Maasai Boma. This is the Maasai community. Yeah. Esta es la comunidad de los Maasai. It is the place, it, I born a place like this one, uh -huh. and I've grown it. So it is, it is the place where my culture and this strong one now, different with other cultures around the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, dice que uh, él nació en un lugar así y es una cultura muy única, el único lugar en el mundo donde existe esto. So yeah, a very unique culture, and this is uh, Samuel, my guide, uh, indicating this is the kind of Boma or community he was born with. And this is one of the ladies that we met this morning. Tell me how to say hello again. Yeah, for the Maasai culture we use, for the Maasai greetings, we say sopai, and uh, you reply to say epa. Sopai. Epa. <laughs> le, le dije, ¿cómo está? Y dijo, estoy bien. Y están otros niñitos aquí que vinieron a saludarnos. Uh, you, can and... take, you can shake your hand over here. Okay. The guy. Hi, sweetheart. You can mm -hmm. touch your head. Entonces les enseñaremos. <laughs> so I'm just in awe of being here and so happy to be here. Estoy completamente fascinada de estar aquí después de tantos años que, que he querido venir a, al lugar de los Masai. Samuel then took me to a Boma, which is a traditional Masai community. Usually there's two or three families living there and it's surrounded by acacia bushes, which are very thorny and designed to keep out wild animals. The Maasai are traditional herders. They herd cattle and they herd goats, and they live in these traditional communities along with their animals. The homes of the Boma are very traditional, made out of cow dung and adobe, usually built by the women. And here is a woman carrying wood back to the Boma. We've arrived at the Boma now, at the uh, Maasai community. And uh, so here's a little child um, out to greet us. Hey, little sweetie. How are you? <laughs> so, the entrance, and so this is uh, different families that live within this compound. So ya llegamos a la comunidad Masai, y son unas cuantas familias que viven aquí, y las voy a saludar. Sopai, Sopai. Sopai. <laughs> So fai. Yeah, so fai. <laughs> oh, okay. So for a young person, you're supposed to greet them on the top of their head. And then for the elder, you know, I said, uh, how are you? A la señora la saludé preguntándole cómo está. 
pero a las muchachas que están más jóvenes se les saluda este, tentándoles la cabeza. So, acabamos de llegar. Samuel introduced me to this family, including the elder, who is the mom of the husband, and I met the children and some of the other relatives. And say this house was just to have wives trying to build it, mm -hmm. but she get much illness, mm -hmm. so she brought her to hospital. She coming that one. Mm -hmm. Whoa. 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 So, esta es una, una casa que la esposa de este señor iba a construir. And... So, five. <laughs> and um, this is his wife. Uh, she's been ill, though, so she wasn't able to finish the house. And ella es la esposa. Ella este, iba a construir esta casita, pero se enfermó y todavía no la termina. So, it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. So, they're going to show me uh, the inside of the house now. Y me van a mostrar la, su casita dentro de su casa. Vamos a entrar. Dale, <laughs> buena, Jorge. <laughs> Hola. So, este es adentro de la casita. Es hecha de adobe. So, it's a, an adobe house, right? It's yeah. made out of uh, mud and hay yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So, it's actually very, very cool in here. Very, it could be hot out there, but it's very cool in here because of the materials. So, it's, this is, there's three rooms, right? Is this, this is one room? Yeah, this right is here. one room. And this is the sleeping room, right? The yeah. sleeping room? Yeah. And then uh, this is like a little no, living area. Yeah, this is the, this is the sitting room. This is room. their little child, es su hijito. Yeah. Well, oh, es la niñita. Is this your baby, your child? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, we saw yeah. her first. Esta es niña de ellos. Uno de sus hijitos, a little son. Right here, yeah. Our two children, the mom, and my friend, and the husband, the dad. <laughs> and then there's another uh, larger room here, the cooking room, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really amazing to be able to see your home. Y gracias por enseñarme su casa. Estoy muy agradecida. Thank you so much for showing me your home. Yes. It was an honor to meet this family and to be invited into their home. It's something that had a great impact on me as a global traveler, as somebody who loves to experience culture. Another thing that I learned is that in Tanzania, all children are allowed to go to school. Uh, it's a decision that a president made in the 90s. So this little girl is going to school, but still many of the children have to help their families by continuing to graze the animals and to work most of the time. So some go to school and some do not. There is a drought in this part of East Africa, and so people have had to walk longer and longer distances to find water for their animals. And here, Samuel is demonstrating uh, where they get some of their drinking water in the streams. 
We also met a lady who was doing laundry from the very limited amount of water available in the stream. So she was washing the family laundry and just hanging it up to dry with whatever water she could get. Samuel also showed me the place where the young men are circumcised and initiated into manhood. And this is done once a year. Later, I met some women that were selling jewelry. A lot of the ladies make jewelry on the side to earn a little bit of extra money for their families. I'm buying things for goddess gear for my boutique. So some of you guys might want to buy these beautiful things made by these ladies. So estoy comprando cosas para mi para mi tiendita Goddess Gear y ojalá ustedes quieran algunas de estas cosas bellas hechas por estas muchachas y señoras. Okay. <laughs> Being in Longino was a unique experience for me in my travels, and I loved meeting the children. I loved learning about both the challenges and the beauty of Maasai culture, and I loved being in the natural beauty of East Africa and this part of the world. <laughs>